Welcome back. I'm Curtis Smith. Sometimes New Mexico seems to be a state that has very little variation. It just seems hot. But during the winter, northern and southern New Mexico can be very different. That's why we have questions and answers from the north and the south. Today we see a very distinct difference. A lot of gardeners want to know what they can do when they're gardening in the winter in northern New Mexico. And now with snow all over the ground, people say, well, what can I be doing? I want to be outside, but it's too cold. We've seen Master Gardener Joe Holdridge's cold frame before, but let's go look at it again and see what's happening. Joe, we've got snow on top of your cold frame. It's cold. Do you have things growing inside? Curtis, I, I, I use my cold frame basically in the summer and basically to start to keep my, get my tomato plants going. But mm -hmm. this year, we, uh, at the end of the season, we stuck in two containers of, of lettuce. So we, we, we've eaten lettuce out of the cold frame Look at that. all winter long. And it's, uh, it's proved to be, it's not enough lettuce, to, 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 but it supplements our store-bought lettuce. And you had room to actually have put more in here. And I could have put more in here, yes, I yeah. could. And I know it looks like it got a little cold last night, but it went to 17 degrees on the outside. Yes, and I, and I had it slightly open, which is, I, I, I should have closed it last night. Okay. I, if it's 40, if it's, if, it's not, if it's 32 or 35, it's, it's nice to leave it open, but I should have closed it with, when it got to 17 or 15 like it did last night. And I see a compost thermometer here in the soil showing the soil is still 32, so it's just right at freezing in it's spite right of that. It's right at freezing. The, the lettuce looks a little, little crisp. It but got a little bit cold last night, but it's going to perk back up. It'll do fine. It'll be fine. And you've got some more growing out in the open, but this is a lot bigger than that you've got growing in the open. The one in the open will, will, will really start to thrive in the spring, but mm -hmm. this, this, this seems to grow year-round. So you're able to get it. Well, let's go take a look at that that's in the open and sure. see what it looks like compared to this. Well, Joe, these are smaller than the ones that you've got in your cold frame, but they look pretty good. They're maybe a little hardier than those that have been in the warm, but they're really not making much for you to eat right now. No, they, they, they just basically sit through the winter, and then in, in, in the spring they'll come out and, and we'll have fresh lettuce all till, till it gets hot weather in June or July. Yeah, well, I see something else people ask about in the winter. You've got some figs. When do you prune your fig tree? Curtis, I, I prune my fig tree about this time of the year every year. This is the first of February, and that's a, that, that, that seems to be a very appropriate time to prune it and take some cuttings to start new fig trees. Well, let's go do that. Well, Joe, I see you've already been doing some pruning. Yes, Curtis, this, this is the time of the year that I clear do some pruning to clear the walkway here so we can get by. I also take some cuttings to start some new, my new fig trees for, lots of people are interested in fig trees and uh, mm -hmm. so I start 20 or 30 a year. And starting from a plant that is surviving here is a good way to get one that's hardy. And uh, you know what you're going to get when you get a cutting. You know that it'll, re it'll be like its parent. Well this is, looks like a good tree. I've seen the figs on it so I know it's a good tree. So you've pruned here to clear your walkway. You've got some in here that are not going to be very productive. They could be pruned right. off. Right. We're going to prune out the little spurs. Okay. And you've got a few suckers that suckers, have sprouted up. Suckers. That's right. So that's the things you do to open it up, make sure you have a productive tree. Now, what do you do with your cuttings after you've taken the cuttings? After I've taken the cuttings, I select the cuttings that I want. I use a, a, a root Stimulating stimulator to, to, and then I put them in, in just pure potting soil. And, and uh, inside them, the house? Inside the, my sun porch. Okay, a good warm place. And good they warm just place and start and, rooting and, and, and grow. they'll start rooting almost instantly. And you say some people actually root them in water? Ron Joe Brute starts his rooting in water okay. and, and then transfers them to potting soil. Okay. I've had better luck with potting soil. Okay, well this is probably a better way because a different kind of root forms in water. Right, yeah. and so it has to make a, a different root system after you put them in the soil. Okay, well, Joe, thank you very much. Some interesting things. Cold frames for gardening, fig tree pruning, great stuff. Fig trees are thank great. You.